100% chili keto cheese fries, mother. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Completely didn't feel staged. <laughs> What we want to do in this video is show you how you can eat all of this and still maintain a keto lifestyle. Like a keto lifestyle, yeah, absolutely. And also, <laughs> um, at the end of the video, yeah, honestly, like we'll explain what, how it is we live our life and how it is that we can do this, right? Uh, and if you guys want a more explicit kind of like example, actually, I am going to go over what my next eight weeks are going to look like on keto because we have a trip. We're, we're to Mexico, <laughs> to Mexico, and so we do have to get Mexico ready, get that summertime fine on, yep. as Miss Ross would say. Together in a while, so I'm excited. Yeah. So uh, without further ado, though, we're gonna eat because I'm starving. I actually been fasting all day, and we had um, we hit a really really big heavy workout for uh, shoulders and for chest today. So I am starving. I had protein, I guess, but um, other than that, I'm completely fasted. So, yeah. I'm not, but. <laughs> yeah, whatever. All right, guys, so he, I'm gonna He knows in. how angry I get when I try to work out fasted, so I had, to eat a, I had to eat a little something today. This is like my favorite right here. I've been waiting for this. Like, I'm not um, a big, the biggest McDonald's fan, but I love their fries. Out so. of all this, that's your favorite? Uh huh. Mm. So, out of all this, these, oh my God, look at that. These are my favorite. You smell that. Smell so, that. they are. That? From Fuddruckers, they're seasoned potato wedges with chili and cheese on top. Mm. So amazing. You know, and honestly, so I gotta let you know, we got mm. some McDonald's in the house. We got Fuddruckers in the house. As you can see, we got Taco Bell in the house. Uh, that is my favorite fast food joint. Mm -hmm. And what's missing here, oh, we got Wendy's. I don't know if I said Wendy's though. What's missing here is actually Burger King. I was gonna go there. I really wanted some onion rings because Burger King, I don't care what y'all say, Burger King has the best onion rings, right? And then I was also gonna get their, um, I never had it, but it's called like a Sossum barbecue double cheeseburger bacon thing and it looked amazing. It had onion, uh, onion fries? That's not what they're called. Onion <laughs> straws, anyways. Yeah, so onion straws. So, anyways, so to the point of this video, yes, we are muck banging in front of you. I hope I said that right, but we are eating food in front of you, making y'all jealous, salivating, hungry, kind of like sex for your ears and for your eyes, uh, food <laughs> style though. But to the point of this video, we are doing this because for me, this is my last supper. <clears throat> this is like my carb load uh, after a very, very heavy, heavy lift day, and I will be going straight keto, actually both will, for Same. the next eight weeks, right? Yep. And so, I mean, that's that's why we're doing this. We really wanted to get all of our cravings out of the way. Because uh, how, how long have we been on keto prior to this? Full. Wait till my mouth full. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tell them, babe. Um, tell for them. six months, yeah, around six months. Six months, yeah. Yep. Six months so, of amazing results, too. Yeah, so another reason why we are able to do this is because once you are in ketosis, what, for at least like a month, I'd say? Yeah, we honestly four, waited. Weeks. We honestly waited three months, but it takes about four to six weeks to get fat adapted. So once you are fat adapted, you can kind of do things like this and you will be able to get back into ketosis faster afterwards. Yep, yep. And tell them a tip. Do you have any tips? To like, so when you do this, If you Nachos pizza, Bel Grande, hold on. <laughs> Nachos Bel Grande. I'm gonna get a drink. I'm gonna pack. Wait, I'm wait, 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 wait. What? I'm gonna get a drink. Is this your drink? Oh, yes, that's my drink. There you go. Where's uh, my drink? Yeah, so to wash have. it down, what is this? What do you have? I got a Diet Coke. It doesn't look that cool. It's a McDonald's cup. So it's mine a... is way cooler. Baja Blast, arguably the best soda flavor. Huh, did you say something? I did. Mm -hmm. I said Baja Blast is amazing. Who's this what? Oh. All right, yo. Now nah, I forgot what I was gonna say, but yo, oh, oh, tips, tips. So let let it be known, guys. Like, we're, regardless of what you see here, we're not saying we're gonna do this and still be in keto. Not possible. I'm, I'm probably gonna get, already out of it. Yeah, I, just smelling this food, I'm already out of it, right? <laughs> um, clearly, over 25 grams of of carbs. Uh, when I get kicked out, though, like Alicia said, we bounce back a little quicker just because we are fat adapted with this amount of food, though. 
it's not gonna be that quick. Like we're gonna, we're just gonna take us a while to get back in. Some tips though, to, to kind of like help you get back in. Uh, what would you say, babe? Like, uh, like obviously working out, you're gonna deplete the carbs within your body. So the more you work out after this, uh, you know, do hit training, heavy resistance training, weightlifting, uh, you're gonna be able to kind of like sneak back into keto quicker than if you didn't do any of those things. What else have you read or done or? Um, drink lots of water. Mm. Um, what I'll do too is Ooh. when I do stuff like this, the next oh, few days after, there. I will eat. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that very appealing when you no. open it. <laughs> it doesn't look like the Exposed. pictures, that's for sure. So what I'll do, so like tomorrow, instead of getting higher up towards those 25 net carbs, I'll probably keep my carbs mm. under 10 carbs and I'll do that for the next few days until I get back into ketosis. Mm. And I've noticed that that helps me get back into ketosis faster when I do that. Um, another thing that um, I've seen people do is they will fast for a long period of time after and that helps yep. deplete the carbs in the body too um, a lot faster. For me, I can do it for a short amount of time. <laughs> he knows I can't do it for very long. I get very hangry when I don't eat <laughs> and it's not good for anybody around me, so. <laughs> <laughs> no. But if that's something that works for you, then by all means, do that. <laughs> yeah, I, I've done pretty long fasts. I've done a whole 26 hour fast um, one time and and lift twice <clears throat> over that same time period um i will say that if it, if my goal is to get back in the ketosis i'd rather work out like tremendously and, and extremely and i'm not hitting the right word intensely uh than i would rather uh fast yeah but i mean those are all good helpful tips well so, the cause... three things that i the main three things i would do is work out drink a lot of water no. and eat less carbs and higher fats for a couple days after oh absolutely Absolutely. You know, I, we didn't preface this. Honestly, guys, so um, to the point of this video, right, we we're saying like, hey, you can do this on keto. Look, this is like a one-time thing for us, like in, I don't know, it's been six months. Like maybe we've done two cheat days in six months, right? This is a lifestyle. And so for those of you who are just getting in keto, new ketonians, uh, keto noobs, uh, I will say that Treat it as a lifestyle, like, yes, we will eat 99% of the time keto. Like, I eat, like, 80% fat, or sometimes, no, I go lower, 70% fat sometimes. Mm. But we do 90% of the time, we eat keto, right? Um, 99. But there is that small percentage of times where it's going to be her birthday. It's going to be my birthday. Um, it's going to be a friend's bachelor party, right? Like, like, don't feel guilty, I would say, if you need to go... Uh, if you're gonna break keto on those days, I mean, live your life, right? My lifestyle, when I think of it, I'm not gonna be the guy who like is a, a Debbie Downer or the negative Nancy or some other lame person corresponding to a cool name. Um, I want to be the guy who like, yeah, when on those occasions, man, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go balls out. I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna eat foods. I'm gonna try fun things, like, and I'll just get back in. It's, I mean, this whole. Lifestyle, like I said, it's you know, it's it's not a marathon, it's not a race, whatever. You're gonna lose weight, you're gonna get shredded, you're gonna whatever your goals are, you're gonna get there. All right, but I will say, so treat it as lifestyle number one, most importantly. Ask yourself, it's Mother's Day or Father's Day or your mom's birthday. Like, are you gonna eat carbs? If in your head, your lifestyle looks like that, do it. Don't feel guilty. Just next day, treat it. Get back in the game. Another day <clears> in the <throat> office, right? Get back in keto. I will say if you've only been doing keto for a week and Mother's Day comes up oh, or oh, yeah. birthday comes yeah. up, mm -hmm. don't do it. Mm. Don't do it. It's so easy within like the first like couple weeks that you that you start. Um, I can't even talk right now. Mm -hmm. It's so easy it. within the first like couple weeks to give in to temptations. I wouldn't do it until you're fat adapted. Do you agree? Mm. Yeah. One hundred percent. What do I want There's, to eat um, next? You can try that burger. Oh, we'll get some nachos. It's stuff on it that I don't like. So I'm really picky. Hence, he got the <laughs> big grande mm. box. There's I out. got that for him specifically because he loves all the toppings. He loves everything on there. I love That's that. That's why my measly little Jeez. nacho has three things on it because right. I am very picky when it mm. comes to food sometimes. Yep. As you well know. 
Watch, she won't eat that side of her nachos now just because of that Shut touch. Out. Get out of here. <laughs> Holidays with you are fun. <laughs> Yo, so check this out. Actually, hold on. F bringing it back like, what, a couple minutes ago, 30 seconds ago, whatever it was. Yes, when you were just jumping into this keto game, please please don't don't cheat within the first couple of weeks. Uh, you, It's so easy to fall off, like she said. And tell me, we all have heard this. I read this on some post or an article, but we all know this person, right? So someone jumps on a diet, this time it's keto, right? Say, I don't know, we'll give her a detail. It's 41 year old middle-aged woman, jumps on keto, wants to lose weight. He's amazingly strict, awesome, follows the details for the first week, loses like five, six pounds, ecstatic, right? Gets into the second week, friend's birthday on Tuesday. She decides, hey, I lost five, six pounds. But yeah, I can, I, can, I can afford to kind of cheat a little bit and have a cheat day. Does it, great, has fun. But the next day, it's tough to get back in. You got those carb cravings again. You want sugar. You want uh, French fries. You want this and that. You want burgers, right? Um, and then, you know, it's kind of like, then it's a struggle. You, you have those cravings. You go up and down. You yo-yo. Maybe, maybe Wednesday you get back in. Thursday you fall off. Friday you get back in. Next thing you know, two weeks have gone by and you've gained all the weight back. Then you start telling your friends, like, eh, keto's not for me. You know, I didn't. I lost some weight, but it came back really quick. You know, just keto's not for me. It doesn't work. Whatever, right? We all know that person. You know, you know. Versus take person number two, same, uh, you know, same age, middle aged woman, has the same weight loss the first six, uh, the first week, six pounds, but then she uses that motivation in the second week oh my to God. be like, yo, it's, it's it's a friend's birthday, but oh man, I lost six pounds. Let's keep this going. Let's keep this thing going. And next thing you know, she stays strong, she finds keto options. Next day, she's still in keto because she didn't fall out. Has a sex successful two week, second week, and has lost a total of like, what, 11 pounds the first couple of weeks? That's not unheard of on keto. And she's excited. And the difference is she stuck with it. She had a game plan. She was strict with it for the first couple of weeks because she's developing a habit. Next thing you know, she's like telling all her friends about it. Keto's amazing, I lost 11 pounds, you know, whatever. She's encouraging her friends to do it. Like, we all know a person A and we all know the second person B too. The person B is usually the people we admire, usually the people we see at the office, at school, wherever, who did the hard thing and made something you know amazing happen, like weight loss, changing their lives. So remember, it takes 30 days to build a habit, guys. So for the first like month of keto, I really strongly urge you guys to not cheat. Don't don't give up. Like you will love it. Like I don't think we told you yet. We probably should start the video off with this, but like I've lost since January, within the first three months, um, actually, and all the way up until now, let me just say that, I've lost a total of 33 pounds. I was like, I was like 200, 201 pounds on January. As of today, I'm like around 168, you know, depending on if I've <clears> eaten <throat> something later in the day, the, the night before, but in the morning, I weigh like about 167, 168, so about 33 pounds. Uh, so please guys, if you, if you really wanna make your life change, do, you know, stay with it, stay with it. What have you, you how, would you say you've had success on this? Yeah, so I didn't have a ton of weight that I wanted to lose, but I feel like those last like 10 to 15 pounds are the hardest pounds to lose. Um, so since I've started this, I've lost 15 pounds. I've mm. lost a couple inches in my waist. I've been able to tone up more. Mm -hmm. I know, right? Mm -hmm. I know. So those were like the hardest, like I've been trying for over a year to lose that weight. And it wasn't until I started keto that I was able to lose the weight that I wanted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was eating more calories a day. So oh. I was eating a, quite a few more calories a day. Right. Like at least five to 800 more calories a day than I was eating before. Cause so. I mean, you have a busy lifestyle guys. We get it, everyone has a busy lifestyle, but she has an incredibly busy lifestyle. I, I tell you that. And before it was very tough for her to eat. And she was like smashing like maybe, I don't know, 1100, 1200, 1500 calories, whatever, right? And could not lose weight. Now, babe, what are you eating at? Like rough ballpark, 2000, 1800 sometimes? What? Right now I'm eating 1800, but I've gone anywhere up to 2300, so. And, and lost weight or? Yes. Yep. See, it's crazy, guys. And, and I think the term we should start using in, when we talk about keto, rather than weight loss, we should talk about fat loss. Because even if you're, like, for people on keto, guys, even if your weight loss is, like, stagnating, you're still at 167, whatever your weight is, 
you will still see like fat loss. Like she's lost inches on her waist, and I mean, you can you can still lose size and not lose um, weight. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I mean, because you work out. I mean, and babe, how many days a week do you work? You don't have to work out. I work out five to six days a week. You don't have to be a gym I work like three me. Three days a week. Exactly, and she looks amazing, guys. So, I guess if anything, we wanted to share our experience with you guys. For those of you who are just jumping into keto and thinking like, man, this is tough, or I can't stick with it. Or even for those of you who are already in it, like, dude, yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're with you. We're fellow ketonians. That's is a cool a, word. That's like coin. Can I ask word. you guys this? Is it a mukbang if he's not eating? <laughs> I know mukbangs are hard because I love the talk. <laughs> I seriously love the talk, guys. And you know what? I don't know how long it's been, but on this on this vid, I wanted to smash all this in like 15 minutes. I probably went over that already. I don't There's know. no way. My eyes were way bigger than my stomach on this one. But mm. I got to have a taste of all my favorite foods, so mm -hmm. I'm really happy for that. <clears throat> it's not that sexy looking. I'll tell you that right now, but. You put a bunch of meat and cheese between two buns. <laughs> that came out wrong. <laughs> and you put a bunch of weird stuff in like that. Ketchup, mayo, pickles. I don't care if it looks beautiful or not. I love this stuff. Good. This tastes amazing. Mm. And by the way, if it's looking weird while I'm eating right now, I did get my two wisdom teeth on this side pulled out last week, so I honestly don't even know if I'm supposed to be eating all of this stuff right now, but I'm doing it anyway because it, I couldn't let him do it by himself. I couldn't sit here and watch him mm. do it, so. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I'm eating so full. Eat are you those really? cheese fries, yes. How are you getting full? Because I've been eating the whole time you've mm. been talking. Oh, sure. <laughs> so guys, I also told you that our breakdown my next eight weeks leading up to Mexico. Um, the past couple days, few days, I've actually been eating way above my maintenance calories. So right now I told you I'm like 167, 168. I'll tell you right now, I can see my abs coming in. So if that tells you anything, I don't know. My ballpark, I've never taken a test. 15% body fat, maybe anywhere around that number, 16, 14, I don't know. But my goal obviously is to get my, my six pack show and my eight pack if possible. I don't know if that's possible in eight weeks, right? Um, so I've been purposely eating above my maintenance calories so my body is like used to burning mass amounts of, of calories, my metabolism's up there. And that way tomorrow when I start my cut for the next eight weeks, I can start it at like a 2,800 calorie uh, and it'll feel like a deficit for my body, if that makes sense, right? Um, so that way I'll lose some weight, I'll lose some poundage. I want, again, it's, I don't care about the weight itself, I care about the fat loss, but Starting at 2800, my game plan is to uh, drop 100 calories from my diet every week leading up until there. So it's going to be, I guess it's kind of, I would say, a slower cut than I'm used to. And it's going to be super easy. It's not going to feel like I'm dieting at all because I'm starting out so high. Um, and I'm going to feel full. I'm going to feel like I can eat. And um, so drop it 100 every week. And I'm not honestly going to add cardio till like maybe four weeks in. <laughs> And I'll do like three days of low intensity steady state. Maybe the week after that, add in, I'll add in some um, HIIT training. And, but essentially, I'll add in the cardio slowly. And then the week after that, add another HIIT training session on top of the three days of WIS. And then I'll be honest though, it gets pretty intense after that. Like as the weeks get down, like the third week, second, first, final week prior, I'll probably be doing, um, last time I was doing like two days of HIIT training at like, I think 20 minutes a piece. And then on top of that, like doing like, five or six days of like 40 minutes of low intensity steady state. Feel free to take my game plan and make it fit your lifestyle. But my point is like, start your calorie deficit at high because all too often I see people who are like, let me do a deficit so I can lose weight, right? Cause when you lose weight is you're eating less, but they do it like a drastic, like, I don't know. They're already at 1800 calories. So then when their weight loss plateaus, Sure, they can drop it to like 16 or 1500 calories, great. When their weight loss plateaus after that, what are you gonna do, drop it to like yeah. 13, 1200, 11? Dude, that's starving, man. And I would personally not feel happy like eating 1200, <laughs> I'm looking at that, 1200 <laughs> calories a day. I would starve, I'd be hangry, I'd be upset. And even if you get past that, 
here's what's going to happen. If I'm eating 1200 calories a day on top of all the cardio, creating a huge deficit, once I get to Mexico and decide to start eating and drinking and having fun, I'm definitely going to exceed 1200 calories a day easily and I'm going to blow up. Like it's just not a sustainable um, like lifestyle eating 1200 calories a day. So that's why I start high. Agreed. Give myself room to play with, you know. So guys, if you're cutting or anything like that or you're looking to lose weight, dude, start your weight loss um, calories at a high and kind of walk it down slowly. I might even do 100 every other week depending on how much uh, I see the weight scale move or I see inches lose on my waist. So, um, or if I can see my abs better or my, my serratus even or whatever. So um, that is what I'm going to do leading up to Mexico and then we'll be summertime fine, motorcycle fine, Mexico fine. <laughs> Just all types of fire. <laughs> Anyways, so that's kind of like the what we wanted to share with you guys. Is yeah. that pretty much? No. What we, yeah, yeah right? no. That's, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, uh -huh. I think so. Uh -huh. I think so. Uh -huh. And I'm going to do something similar. I'm not going to do the exact same as him. I've never eaten 2,800 calories For a, while, huh? a day. <laughs> if I do it, I will probably start off at 2,300 calories because that's like pretty high for me personally, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Not that it's not that it's high, it's just like hard for me to eat a lot of calories sometimes. So 23 is like a good starting point for me. And what I'll do is like kind of what he said, like lower it very slowly. Like since I'm starting at 2300 calories, I might not lower it every week. I might lower it <sighs> every other week just depending on like what like the results I'm seeing. So and by the time we go to Mexico, my calories won't be too low, so. No, and if anything you could for example, if you don't want to cut calories, she goes three days a week to the gym. She could easily add like a fourth day, even just a like small cardio day, and it would like increase the deficit. Just kidding. <laughs> that fourth day is so hard, guys. It's so hard. I'm it, so proud of my three days. Uh, right yeah, now. <laughs> it's not for everyone, guys. Like our channel, what we want to bring to you guys is is we want to show by example that yes, you can be a busy, busy lifestyle and still keto guys, and still get your goals down. Even if it's not gym, fitness, or keto related, you, you can have a busy lifestyle, but you can still set goals for other things. Learn a new skill set, learn to web develop, learn to fly a plane, I don't know, that's kind of out there, but you know what I'm saying, like you can make time and make dedication for the things you really want. It's just a matter of changing. The, you know, and it's painful to change, it really is, but I think one of the most profound quotes I've ever been given is that um, the you know, people will only change when the pain of staying the same outweighs the pain of the change. Think about it. Like one day you're going to wake up and be like, man, my life, whatever it is, it's not working out. I don't like it. I have make the same amount of money. I, I live in, I have a dead end job or I have whatever. You're going to tell yourself like, you know what, to change my life, no matter how painful waking up that extra hour in the morning is, showing up to wait to work on time, whatever, you're gonna make that change. Because one day that pain of seeing the same will be too much. And you'd rather put up with the pain of change. And that day <clears throat> is the day you wake up. Stay woke, fam. <laughs> on a side note, it's super important. Um, don't you hate it? Like when all the toppings are just like on the top layer of chips and then you get to the bottom layer of chips and there's like literally nothing on the rest of the chips. I don't even want this anymore. It's not even a nacho anymore. Nope. That's actually like the same pet peeve I have at Chipotle when they put like all the food in, right? You ask for guacamole, cheese, whatever you ask for. And for me, I take a bite and I realize all the guac is on one side of the burrito and That's why, on like, the, the smart either. ones, they mix it up. They, like, kind of, like, mix the stuff together for you. The cold stone creamery, that? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen cold stone. Yeah, cold stone, yep, yep. Anyways. <clears throat> yeah, so to wrap... To oh, I feel lame, guys. I did why? not eat as much as I thought I was going to be able to eat. Well, I have, like... I will. Going from not eating carbs to eating this many carbs all at once is very filling. And these potato wedges are very, very filling. <laughs> No, I don't even like potato wedges. She's Irish, by the way. She loves potatoes. Part Irish. I'm a lot of... I'm I'm a mutt. Yeah. I'm a lot of things. <laughs> Alright, guys. Anyway, so to wrap this up, because we don't want to do too long of a session, and I don't think people care to watch us eat all this time, we've got our messes out there. Guys, keto is a lifestyle. Feel free to, once in a while, once in a blue moon, 
have a fun day. Matter of fact, it'll be great for your weight loss journey. It'll kickstart your metabolism. It'll give you kind of a restart, reboot. Just don't do it too often. And don't use it as an excuse to like eat all day long really shitty foods because let's be honest, me eating all this, I could eat like probably a fourth of this and be fine. Eating um, all this is overkill and I'm really just being a shitty eater right now. Yeah, this is not some, yeah, yeah. this extent is not something no, that this is we for would you normally guys. No, I'm do. Yes, this is right? really for us. I actually really do want to eat all this. I um, will say we worked out tonight. I probably will have a heavy leg day tomorrow. Yes, yes. So, and it's gonna be great because I'm gonna have all these carbs in my system. Yes, and I'm not gonna go into it because the video, I wanna cut it here. Carb That's night, video for carb day. backloading. That also is a principle we're using to make sure we're getting the most out of what we're eating right now. We're keto, but carb backloading, carb night, if you don't know what it is, John Kiefer is the, I guess, inventor, the guy who, who did it, coined it, look it up, is so cool. So for now though, yes, it's a keto lifestyle. Have fun, don't be, um, Doing this every time, right? Yeah. And then, yeah, just, just, it's a lifestyle, guys. So, yes, you can do this once in a blue moon. It's a long way of saying that. Very true. So, if you guys like this, you found something we said insightful or easy to uh, adapt to your lifestyle or you like what we said, or even if it just helps that we shared our kind of journey with you, yeah, hit the, what did you say? I said hit the like button. Oh, hit the like button. And hit the subscribe button. Smash the bell. And hit the bell. Smash. <laughs> <laughs> Dang you say okay. Hit all those things and then please guys, seriously. And comment. Please if com you comment. Think you comment whatever you want. If you have any comments, criticism, I'm questions. Yep, if you think Carla looks nerdy with his glasses, comment that. <laughs> no, for real though, like yeah, she's right though. Like even if you say like guys, a cute nerd. this video is, is is crappy, you guys could do an entire video without eating, or for all you mukbangers out there, you want us to do a mukbang video without talking, dude, just tell us, like help us, like help us get better because ultimately our one goal is to share our, our knowledge, our experience with you guys who are out there doing keto to, to better yourselves. Um, maybe we can, if we change one person's mentality or help one person get their goal, that's really all we care about. I used to be a dance teacher for the longest time. So I really value that over anything else. It's just being able to help someone. So if you guys comment on our videos telling us like, yo, get better lighting, we got better lighting this time, um, or, or anything that will help us get our message across to other people better, dude, please tell us. I don't care. If it's rude, be straightforward, be blunt, whatever. Seriously. So with that, I think I say peace. What do you, right? Peace. Bye. Peace, love, cheese, and never mind. That's Timothy Delgado. All right, guys. See ya. Bye. And I'm going to eat this food. Bye. I didn't, I didn't hit it. I didn't hit it.